Nigeria's film industry, called Nollywood, has become so lucrative that it has now turned into mecca for film actors all over Africa. In this video, we take a look at 35 Ghanaian actors seen plying their trade in Nollywood. At number 1, Jackie Appiah Jackie Appiah, born on the 5th of December 1983 in Toronto, Canada, is an award-winning Ghanaian actress, movie producer, brand influencer, and a humanitarian. Appiah's appearance on screen in Ghana became regular when she started starring in a number of trending TV series like Things We Do For Love, Tentacles, Games People Play, Sun City, among others. Following her success story in the Ghanaian film industry, she became a natural pick for Nollywood, which was beginning to extend its search for cast beyond the shores of Nigeria. To date, she is still rated one of the best actresses ever to come to Nollywood from outside Nigeria. At number 2 is Van Vika. Van Vika is a Ghanaian actor, movie director and humanitarian who was born on the 1st of August 1977. He graduated from African University College of Communication in 2021. Van Vika started out as an on-air personality for radio and TV in Ghana before appearing in the TV series Sun City, which was a big hit in Ghana. Soon, he will become a regular face in the Ghanaian movie industry. Just like Jackie Appiah, Van Vika came into Nollywood when the industry needed new faces and the actor really made his presence count. Number 3 is John Dumelo. John Dumelo, born on the 3rd of February 1984, is a Ghanaian actor, politician, entrepreneur, and farmer. He studied civil engineering at KNUST and later enrolled at Gimpa School of Public Service and Governance. He started acting at the tender age of 7 in the 1991 film titled Baby Thief. After making a name in the Ghanaian movie industry, he was introduced into Nollywood via Ghana Ninja collaborations. He is said to have appeared in over 50 Nollywood movies. Coming at number 4 is Prince David Osei. Prince David Osei, born 6th of December 1983, is a Ghanaian actor, model, producer, director, and a philanthropist who has featured in many Ghanaian and Nigerian movies. He came into Nollywood at the same time with John Dumelu and has since made Nigeria his second home. At number 5 is Eddie Watson. Eddie Watson, born on the 22nd of May 1980, is a Liberian-born Ghanaian actor and producer. His professional acting career started in 2010 with Labor of Love. In 2011, the actor made his first move into Nollywood when he stayed alongside Queen Uwo Koye in Desperate Heart. He would later solidify his presence in Nollywood following numerous movie appearances that had made him a household name in Nigeria and beyond. At number 6 is Majid Michel. Majid Michel, born on the 22nd of September 1980, is a Ghanaian actor, evangelist and a humanitarian. He launched his acting career in the Ghanaian TV series titled Things We Do For Love. Michel made his Nollywood debut in the 2009 romantic drama Emerald, playing a leading role alongside Genevieve Naji. But it was the 2009 film Silent Scandal that brought Majid into prominence in Nigeria and since then, he has grown to become an A-list actor in Nollywood. At number 7 is Yvonne Nelson. Yvonne Nelson, born November 12, 1985, is a Ghanaian actress, model, film producer, author, entrepreneur, and a former Miss Ghana contestant. She schooled at Zenith University College and Central University, where she did a degree course in human resource management. She also attended the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, GIMPA, where she got a master's degree in international relations and diplomacy in 2020. Although Nelson was popular in Nollywood following her good performances, but somehow she became more popular as a result of the controversies that ended her romantic relationship with Nigerian musician Iyanya. At number 8 is Rosalind Ngeza. Rosalind Ngeza is a Ghanaian actress who grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, where she had her basic education. She graduated in 2008 from the University of Ghana, Ligon, where she studied theatre art. She started acting in Ghana in 2003, but got her breakthrough role as Angie in 4Play and 4Play Reloaded in 2010 and 2011 respectively. Since then, she has starred in numerous Nollywood movies. At number 9 is Juliet Ibrahim. 
Juliet Ibrahim, born on the 3rd of March 1986 to a Lebanese father and a Ghanaian Liberian mother, is an actress, film producer, and singer. She studied English, French, and Spanish at the Ghana Institute of Languages. She also studied marketing, advertising, and public relations at the Ghana Institute of Journalism. Ibrahim made her acting debut in the 2005 film titled Crime to Christ. Her first Nollywood film was Yankee Boys and she has featured in more than 50 Nollywood films afterward. At number 10 is Nadia Buhari. Ghanaian actress Nadia Buhari was born on November 21, 1982 to a Lebanese father and a Ghanaian mother. She studied performing arts at the University of Ghana. Nadia Buhari premiered on Ghanaian television in 2005 on the TV series titled Games People Play. Buhari moved to Nollywood around 2008. Her breakthrough role in Nollywood was in the film Beyoncé and Rihanna. She acted as Beyoncé alongside Nollywood actress Omotola Jalade Ikainde, who played Rihanna. She will go on to appear in numerous Nollywood movies, but her brief romantic relationship with Nollywood star Jim Ike perhaps made her more famous in Nollywood. At number 11 is Mata Ankoma. Mata Ankoma is a Ghanaian film actress and entrepreneur. She was born on November 21, 1986. She attended J.E. University College. Akoma delved into acting in 1994. In 2007, she entered into the next movie star reality show where she placed Todd. From there, she started getting big roles in Ghana and subsequently she found her way back to Nigeria where she featured in numerous Nollywood films. At number 12 is Chris Atter. Chris Atter, born May 17, 1979, is a Ghanaian actor film director, on-air personality, and producer. He is best known as Kwame Mensa in Nigerian soup opera, Tinsel. Chris Atto attended KNUST where he studied for a Bachelor of Arts in Painting. He later went to London to study banking and securities. He also attended the New York Film Academy. The actor, who many Nollywood fans came to know through his role in popular TV series Tinsel, took his fame to another level when he married fellow actor on Tinsel, Damilola Adigbiti. Their separation was big news, perhaps making him more popular in Nollywood. At number 13 is Mauli Gabo. Mauli Gabo is a Ghanaian accountant turned actor, model, TV presenter, entrepreneur, and producer. Gabo was born in Ghana. He studied business and finance at Franklin and Marshall College, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, USA. Upon returning to Ghana, he began his career as an accountant. He, however, became a brand ambassador to Martini in 2013 but soon transitioned into acting in Nollywood and has continued on that path till date. Number 14 is Enoch Daku. Enoch Daku, fondly called Water Bomb Shell, is arguably the youngest Ghanaian actor so far who moved from Ghana to Nollywood and found instant success. His entrance into Nollywood came after a successful appearance in a Ghanaian kiddies reality TV show called Talented Kids in 2011. Number 15 is Too Sweet Anand. Too Sweet Anand is a Ghanaian Nigerian actor, model, fashion designer, film producer, and entrepreneur who was born on the 25th of August 1985. He attended Ganata College of Arts in Accra, where he studied fine art. Too Sweet made his acting debut in 2010 when he appeared in the drama film The Supremo. He gained prominence in 2014 when he was featured in the movie Happy Death Day. Since then, he has continued to shine in Ghana, but more in Nigeria's Nollywood, where he has become a well-respected star. At number 16 is Yvonne Okoro. Yvonne Okoro is a Ghanaian-Nigerian actress, born to a Nigerian dad and a Ghanaian mother. The multi-award-winning actress attended the University of Ghana, Legon, where she did Bachelor of Arts, combining English and linguistics. Subsequently, she was at the University de Nets in France to study press civilization drama and marketing. She made her screen debut in a 2002 TV series called Sticking to the Promise. She later moved to Nigeria where she made a number of Nollywood appearances. Coming at number 17 is Christabel A.K. Christabel A.K., born October 16, 1990, is a Ghanaian actress and model. She has been featured in more than 80 Ghanaian and Nigerian movies. A.K. started her career as a model and participated at the beauty pageant Miss Malaika Ghana 2008 and won the second position. Her acting career began when she featured in the Nigerian movie College Girls. At number 18 is Zine Zoo. 
Zul, born July 18, 1990, is a Ghanaian fashion icon, actress, writer, producer, television personality, and philanthropist. She attended the University of Ghana where she acquired a bachelor's degree in geography and information studies. Zinezu joined the Ghana movie industry in 2004 in the TV series titled Sticking to the Promise. Just like her colleagues, she too extended her career to Nollywood and so far she has not failed to impress with her appearances. At number 19 is Omar Sharif Kaptan. Omar Sharif Kaptan is a Ghanaian actor and film director. Although initially known for romantic roles, but he later became a pastor. Before then, he featured extensively in Ghanaian movies and was very prominent in the African magic soap Tinsel, which launched him big time in Nigeria and beyond. At number 20 is Emmanuel France. Ghanaian-born Nollywood actor and filmmaker Emmanuel France is one Ghanaian actor many young Nollywood fans may not remember. The aged actor, who now lives in Ghana, in an interview said he learned how to direct, produce and shoot films in Ghana in the early 60s and actually started acting in 1969. With the skills he attained from Ghana, he traveled to Nigeria where he joined the pioneers of Nollywood. At number 21 is Kwame Owusu Ansa. Kwame Owusu Ansa, born 9 December 1967 and died 2 May 2008, was a Ghanaian radio broadcaster, poet, public relations consultant, and teacher turned actor who graced the scene of the Ghanaian and Nigerian movie industry through various collaborations with Nigerian producers. Owusu Ansa appeared in about 60 movies prior to his death in 2008. At number 22 is Emmanuel Ama. Emmanuel Ama is a veteran Ghanaian actor born in August 1959. Since 2017, the actor has been out of the industry due to ill health. Emmanuel Ama was among the very few Ghanaian actors whose appearance in Nollywood kind of prepared the ground for the current crop of Ghanaian actors in Nollywood today. At number 23 is Kofi Ajololo. Kofi Ajololo, born March 23, 1956, is a Ghanaian actor and producer. Ajololo began his career as a musician playing instruments including trumpet and organ. In his 20s, he traveled to Nigeria and played with Nigerian musician Victor Owaifo of Joromi Fay. He also worked as a radio presenter at the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation and Peace FM. He joined the Ghana movie industry in 2003. His success in the Ghanaian movie industry saw him returning back to Nigeria, but this time as an actor in Nollywood. At number 24 is James Gardner. James Gardner is one of Ghana's finest actors. He was born on May 16, 1985. He graduated from the University of Cape Coast. Gardner started off in the entertainment industry as a radio host before joining the Ghanaian movie industry. The actor who later found his way into Nollywood would say one of the hardest things he ever had to do was kiss stone to decay in a movie called Love and Lust. At number 25 is Ajete Anand. Ghanaian actor Ajete Anand, popularly known as Pusha, was born on the 8th of July 1973. He studied fine arts at the University of Ghana and for his master's he studied dramatic arts at which university in Johannesburg. He has featured in many Ghanaian movies and international movies like Deadly Voyage and Slavery. Not many Nigerians will know him because he is not their everyday regular Ghanaian actor in Nollywood. At number 26 is Eddie Nati. Eddie Nati, born 6 November 1984, is a Ghanaian actor, director, and film producer. He attended the University of Ghana Legon where he studied directing and earned a BFA in fine arts. He is related to British actor and director Danny Eskin. His supporting role in Frank Raja Somewhere in Africa earned him a nomination at the Nollywood and African Film Critics Award and Ghana Movies Award. At number 27 is Lydia Forsen. Lydia Forsen, born 24 October 1984, is a Ghanaian actress, writer, and producer. Forsen graduated from the University of Ghana, earning a bachelor's degree in English language and information studies. Forsen's acting career started with a cameo role in Hotel St. James in 2005, Run Baby Run 2006, Different Shades of Blue 2007, and had a stint in the next movie star reality show in Nigeria in 2007. She started acting in Nollywood around February 2011, and one of her prominent films then was Phone Swap. Number 28 is for Kobe Champon. 5.4 feet tall Kobe Champon is a Ghanaian actor and presenter who loves to speak less about himself. He is well known in Nollywood, having appeared in a number of Nollywood movies. 
The champion said in an interview that his father wanted him to study law, but the love for movie making won. He recalls working for free in the industry for about six years before the financial benefits started rolling in. A champion is a good actor who is doing very well for himself in Nollywood. At 29 is Nana Amma McBrown. Felicity Nana Ajima, also known as Nana Amma McBrown, is a Ghanaian actress, TV presenter, and a music writer who was born on the 15th of August 1977. She rose to prominence for her role in television series Tentacles. Early in her career, she featured in Nollywood movies, but to retrace her step to join in the building of what is now known as Kumawood Film Industry, based in Kumasi, where she is from. At number 30 is Sika Osei. Sika Osei, born in 1985, is a Ghanaian actress, producer, and international TV personality. Osei was born in Ghana, but due to her mother's occupation, a diplomat of the United Nations, she had to live in various countries, including South Africa, USC, and India. She earned a bachelor's degree in arts from the University of Ghana and later proceeded to Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, Gimpa, where she studied law. Yosei's work revolves around acting, producing movies and hosting shows as well as events, many of which she has done in the Nigerian media space with special attention to her Nollywood movie appearances. 31 comes Jocelyn Dumas. Jocelyn Dumas, born 31st August 1980, is a Ghanaian television host and actress. Jocelyn Dumas studied administrative law in the United States of America. She was a practicing paralegal until she relocated to Ghana to follow her dreams of becoming a television personality, after which she joined the movie industry. She will be best remembered by Nollywood fans as one of the adorable ladies in Lucky Wives and the bride in Link's hit song, Fine Lady, featuring Whiskey. Coming at number 32 is Eddie Beatty. Eto Nam Bedi, aka Eti Bedi, is a fast rising Ghanaian actress, model, and social media influencer. She attended the University of Ghana, Ligon. Her acting career began when she featured as Yasmin in the hit Ghanaian TV series titled Yolo. Since then, she has been featured in a lot of movies in Ghana. Seeing her in Nollywood didn't come as a surprise to many of her fans, as they are already aware that she's equal to the task. At number 33, it's Atoni Wood. Atoni Wood, born in Lagos, Nigeria on September 21, 1991, is a renowned Ghanaian actor, model, and television personality. He attended the University of Professional Studies, where he studied public relations management. In addition, he pursued acting, script writing, and modeling at the Gallywood Academy of Acting. Anthony's interest in the movie industry was ignited around 2009, but he made his professional debut in 2013 in a movie titled Announcement. He will later gain popularity for his role as the 21st century heroic character Inspector Bediako in a legendary TV investigative drama series in Ghana. From there, he found his way back to Nigeria, where he is now gradually becoming a celebrated actor. At number 34 is Echo Smith Asante. Echo Smith Asante, born on March 3, 1973, is a prominent Ghanaian actor. He studied theatre art at the University of Ghana. His acting career took off in the late 90s, but rose to fame in 2008 when he appeared in the Ghana blockbuster movie titled Passion of the Soul. Perhaps not many people can remember his face in Nollywood movies, but the show will remember him as the Ghanaian actor who introduced Nigerian musician Wizkid to the stage in the musician's 2022 hit single titled Bad to Me. The Ghanaian actor made a brief appearance in the video, holding a microphone and leaning on the television, looking stylish and very cool. At number 35 is Hailey Sume. Hailey Sume is a Canadian-born Ghanaian actress, brand influencer, TV personality, and a philanthropist. She studied nursing at the Summit Career College, California, and also had her tertiary education at the University of California, Riverside, in California. She quit her nursing career in the United States to pursue acting in Africa. She made her acting debut in a TV series titled Heels and Sneakers, produced by Yvonne Nelson. In no time, she found her way into Nollywood and soon started acting with top actors like Mike Izuruye, Alex Ikubo, Ike Ogbona, and many others. Just for the records, there are also a few Ghanaian actors who have appeared in one or two Nollywood movies. They include the likes of Ifi Coleman, Amake Abrebeze, Regina Van Helvert, Bismarck the Joke, Jeffrey Naughty, among others. 
We cannot forget actors like Frank Actors, who is a Liberian actor, director and producer, but is projected as a Ghanaian actor because he came into Nollywood via the Ghanaian movie industry. Same is true of Princess Shingos, who is a Gambian actress who also came into Nollywood via the Ghanaian movie industry. Perhaps we must have left out a few names. Expect to see that in our updates. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe before leaving.